hide out of those hackers who attacked Sam. Everyone remember, these people think their virus worked. Sam's gone, and I'm on their side. This'll be good. Welcome to our sanctuary. I'm Catherine Nye, Knight to my colleagues. I wrote the virus that freed you from Sam. I don't know how to thank you. I'm sorry your father did this. The initiative's use of AI could doom us all, and you were the first to suffer. Did your virus kill Sam? Sam has been reduced. It's harmless now. I saw the folly of merging humans and AI in the Milky Way, a black ops project called Overlord that created a monster. Many died, my son was hurt, and the young man used as a host was consumed. Every Pathfinder risks the same fate. That can happen? I've never heard of Overlord. I guess your father hadn't either. Excuse me, I have work to do, unless you have questions. If you're afraid of AI, why join an organization that uses it? We needed an escape. I thought the initiative was using shackled AI for research. When I understood it... Well, a firefighter doesn't run away from a fire. You think the Pathfinders could be overcome by their AI? Worse. If the Initiative thinks the human AI merge works, they might roll it out to everyone. Imagine Sam's power in the hands of people who weren't ready for it. What more can you tell me about Project Overlord? A black ops experiment by mad scientists to merge a human mind with synthetic intelligence. Their creation was a horror. I paid a heavy price to get my son out. I shouldn't keep you. Thank you. Don't worry about Sam reconnecting. Our AI detector is always watching. That's good to know. The virus was a beginning. I'm about to make sure the initiative never repeats its mistake. Pathfinder, it's unlikely an AI detector could discern our private channel. However, this may not be true for your scanner. Knight's planning something big. That's not good. She's dangerous. Let's find out what's up. Discreetly. Ah, my scanner tripped the AI detector. I can mask this as an error, but future pings might draw attention. Maybe there's another way to find out what Knight's planning. If, if she gives us enough time. The AI detector picked up the scan. That'll be hard to explain away. Damn it. Looks like Knight's personal console. Sam, can you get into it? Yes, but my access will trigger the AI detector. You'll only have one chance. Okay, let's wait until we know what we're looking for. It's a schematic for a... blue box? A quantum computer. They serve several purposes, including creating AI. Blueprints for the computer network on the Nexus. So we don't know what she's planning, but we know where. They must know something's up by now. Be ready. A security for EMP device normally used to damage electrical equipment. Cross-reference for blue boxes or quantum computers, EMP, and the Nexus. Files found. Mercury. A strike to prevent any future AI by destroying all quantum computers on the Nexus. Damn it. You could use those computers to create AI, but right now they run half the station. A lot of people could die. We need to stop, Knight. Now. Pathfinder, the AI detector has been triggered. Hostiles approaching. We were trying to help you! I need support! One in a million! Outlaws in view!
easy credits? Always. I like your conviction. As you may know, Kadara's most valuable trade is scrap and resources stolen from the Nexus. But that well's running dry. I'm not stealing for you. Not my goal. My focus is resources native to Andromeda. I have it on good authority there's a large barite deposit in Dralir. Barite's going to be big. You don't say. I sent a surveyor to check it out, but he hasn't returned. All I need from you is peace of mind. Send me his last nav point. I'll check on it. Much appreciated. I'm off the clock. Is this what you came all the way here for? Living in a place like this? Had to get away from my crazy family in the Milky Way. My brother, Conrad, well, he's a couple of quarts low on Ezo, if you know what I mean. But now I'm here and it's great. That Sloane Kelly, I want to be just like her. That attitude, her accent. She's like, Hey, you bastard, lick my boots, kiss my ring, and then my bum. I want to work for her, learn the ropes. Then call up my brother Conrad and be all, See, idiot, you're not the only one in the family hanging out with famous people. Right. Good luck with that.
think Lexi wanted to speak to you. Now orbiting Kadara.
Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. This is massive. Detecting high levels of toxic gas. Proceed with caution, Pathfinder. Hey, I'm always cautious. Be careful. It'd be easy to get lost in here. Me? Lost? Never. Is that a generator? What's it doing all the way out here? It appears to be powering the floodlights. Well, yeah, but who put it here? The surveyor? That would be a lot of equipment for one, one man to carry. <laughs> Better find something cooler than a dead end. Another generator. And more lights. They lead to something? Pretty. You hear that? Intruders! Stand down. The charlatan wants this one alive. Out for a walk, Pathfinder? No one else in the Collective hesitated to shoot me. We're a big organization. Low-level operatives might not have gotten the word. But my orders are clear. You're not to be harmed. Crux is in charge here. If you've got questions, talk to her. Sam, what's inside the cages? Judging from the scratching, Hardy. Okay, that's pretty cool. Are you a new recruit, too? No. Just happened to stumble on this place. Oh, you're the Pathfinder. Crux said we're to be nice to you. I'm new here. Still trying to take everything in. See you around. Pathfinder, you caught me off guard. 
We don't receive many visitors. The cesspools put them off? They are natural deterrents, yes. The Angara call this place Drolir. Translates to death caves. A bit melodramatic. If you've a head for navigation, it's perfectly safe. Like most of Kadara, it's the people you should worry about. What do you mean? Someone's been faking the charlatan's orders, giving bad intel. It got two of our recruits killed. Someone impersonating a charlatan could do a lot of damage. Only the representatives have access to such high-level information. The boss knows it's someone operating out of this base. It's my job to find the culprit. So what's the holdup? The imposter could bolt at the first sign of suspicion. I need a subtle way to smoke them out. Maybe I could help? I'm not connected to the Collective. A curious outsider would raise less suspicion than an official representative. That's true. All right, Pathfinder. Here's what we know. The drop point was in the Sulphur Springs, so the imposter should have high levels of sulphur in their clothes. Sam's sensors should be able to detect that. Anything else? We found footprints that could be human or Asari, but too smudged to get an exact size. That's all my intel. Sulfur levels are high. Her footprints are of a similar shape to those left at the drop site. Could be. Sulfur levels are on the high side, but not by a large percentage. And she's a sorry, which fits her footprint bill. Can't rule her out yet. She's worth further investigation. Sulfur levels are normal. Not our culprit, then. <sighs> High sulfur levels. But the footprints at the drop site contradict to Solarian's webbed feet. Just being thorough, Sam. Didn't peg the collective as gardeners. Sulfur readings are low. Additionally, Angaran feet are distinct from humans and Asari. Can't hurt to check. All clear. Sorry about before, not much traffic down here. Recruits are jumpy. You didn't shoot. That's all that matters. You're awfully good-natured about people pointing guns at your face. Some of us have been down here for months. I haven't seen the sun in weeks. Weeks? Seriously? I'm one of the few people who know how to operate the water filters. I've been trying to train a backup, but most recruits can't stand the smell. Not many volunteers. I'd better get back to work. Thanks for the chat. What do you think of Lynx, Sam? Her explanation for the level of sulfur in her clothes was plausible, Pathfinder. <sighs> Need something? Go bother Crux. You're a testy one. Sorry. Haven't slept in 36 hours, thanks to another shit job. 36 hours? That can't be healthy. Defying the charlatan's orders isn't healthy. I go where I'm told. You've never been tempted to manipulate your boss's orders? What? What do you mean? You know, fudge the intel, use the Collective's resources to make a profit on the side. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm done talking to you. 
Dorado's heart rate spiked when you questioned her about the charlatan's orders. The lady doth... Pathfinder, any luck finding the imposter? Dorado's clothes showed high levels of sulfur. When I questioned her loyalty to the charlatan, she became... frantic. You asked her outright. I said to be discreet. Aquila, detain Dorado. Dorado? She's gone. Said it was on the charlatan's orders. Damn it! If the charlatan finds out, I let her get away. I'll take care of it. She can't have gone far. Roxas Ryder. Did you find Dorado? She ambushed me. I had no choice but to take her out. Would have liked to question her, but at least it's done. Thanks, Pathfinder. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, this was the Surveyor's last known location. I think I found him. A Surveyor. Who did it? Outcasts? Collective? Random exiles? Gravity. What? He broke his neck. Probably from trying to obtain their right samples. That's uh, an unfortunate death. Sam, download his data. We can at least deliver that. Salvage is registered to unaffiliated outlaws, Pathfinder. I advise caution.
All right, let's find Remy. Are you all right? They were going to eat me. I know. They brought a group of us here from the slums, said we'd be safe. I'm the only one left. You survived. That's what matters. I'm not even supposed to be out here. I paid my protection fee. I know. The outcast who wrongly kicked you out of Kadara Port, he sent me. Are they going to let me back in? At the very least. Grayson, I found Remy. We need a pickup. Thank God. I'll send a shuttle right away. Thank you so much. Thank you. I thought I was going to die here. Taking in the view? It's spectacular. These sulfur pools are dumping grounds for bodies. People hide all sorts of evidence out here. And Kadara just keeps getting worse. My name's Cenaris. One day there'll be a reckoning for all these murders. I'm trying to collect the evidence and account for the victims. That's just bleeding heart crusader crap. I'd rather collect whatever's on the bodies and make some cash. This is Drexel, a leech. I'd prefer to shoot him, but that would kind of go against the whole grain of my work. These cesspools are scattered everywhere. If you find any bodies in your travels, let me know. Future justice will thank you. Or let me know, and I'll thank you right now. <laughs> This body was dumped here, as Cenaris claimed. 
I have recorded the location and relevant DNA information for any future investigation. Another murder victim. I have not the relevant information. Another murder victim. Another murder victim. I have locked the relevant information. Heads up. Those exiles won't be on our side. That should do it. We found all we can. Let's get back to Cenaris.
Hi again. Do you have the locations of the victims? It's the only way to make sure justice is served. Or you could give the data to me for a quick reward. Something real. Someone has to be held accountable for these murders. Thank you. A civilization is nothing without justice. Looting is wrong. <laughs> this guy for real? <laughs> Looting is wrong. What a little bitch. Let's not antagonize them further, Pathfinder. I said fuck off. Found your surveyor. He broke his neck getting baroid samples. Good surveyors are hard to find. Hope you retrieve the samples. Here you go. Wonderful. Here are your credits. You earned them. Ryder, perfect timing. You saved me the trouble of looking for you. Something wrong? Have there been more murders? Nothing so morbid. This is actually a personal favor. A business rival, Zia Cordier, lifted cargo I was moving for a client. You want my help getting it back? We worked so well together on the row car job, I thought you'd be willing. We cut the profits, 50-50. 60-40. Final offer. Deal. When she stops in Kadara, Zia drinks at Krala's song. We'll start there. See if Umi heard anything that could help us.
Okay, that's done. Still need to track down Reyes's cargo, though. you're waiting for someone that's my line Ugh. you want a drink or a room information actually that'll cost you more than a round of drinks my friends good for it you still owe me for the last time fine fine it was just a joke I've got a bottle of Elasa I'm willing to part with <sighs> what do you want to know Zia Cordier. She been around recently? You mean your ex? Yeah, she was here. You never mentioned Zaya was your girlfriend. Uh, she's not. We drink together sometimes. I drink with a lot of people. Anyway, she was here? Yeah, met with a Solarian. Shifty guy I'd never seen before. Maybe it was the charlatan. Anything's possible. You overhear their conversation? They were planning to meet someone at Spirit's Ledge. Thanks, Umi. Whatever. You didn't hear it from me. If you check the meeting spot, I'll follow the collective lead. Doubt Zia was meeting the charlatan, but you never know. I'll call you when I get there. Thanks, Ryder.
Reloading! No one's here. Guess we're too late. Let's look around. Maybe Zia left something behind. Here goes nothing. Huh. Did it do anything? Check around. I found a data pad with what looks like a nav point. Must be where Zia's hiding the cargo. Probably left that behind for the buyer. Why not just tell the buyer directly? Frequencies can be hacked. Dead drops are considered safer, especially for a big sale. Did you find anything on your end? The Salarian is a fence. No direct connection to the collective. My guess is Zia met him to find potential buyers. Let's follow up on those coordinates. I'll meet you there. That's it. 
A shuttle could be Zia's. What if this was all just some elaborate trick to get you here? You mean, there was never any cargo? Bravo. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. Zia. You could never resist the big payout. What can I say? I'm a greedy man. That's why you don't have any friends. You're selfish. Skip the small talk. Why'd you lure Reyes here? He's been taking all the good jobs in Kadara. It's gotten more than my attention. So what? The local smuggling union got together and decided to take me down? Something like that. Ah, oh, shit. Move in. Nice work. Can we talk when you're free? You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Orbiting Kadara.
You have AVP Outstanding Pathfinder. Hello, Ryder. Your choice aboard the Salarian Ark was not an easy one. Your father approached such moral quandaries differently. Dad was used to making snap life or death decisions. I now know that colored his perceptions. Alec treated death as a problem to be solved. I have now encountered it several times. His death and your own. And what have you learned about dying from us? The self is forged by experiences. Death is the only experience that ends the self before it's understood. So, is death completion? Or an expression cut short before it reaches its full solution? Giving a different answer. I can see why it fascinates you. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more.
Now is not a good time to be talking to me, Pathfinder. Drac, listen. Why? Your actions told me everything I need to know. Now walk away and give me time to calm down before I do something we'll both regret. I'm sorry. I'm just... Sorry. Go. I feel like things are finally going our way, for real. Getting the Solarians back, that's huge. I just wish we didn't have to sacrifice so many for it. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Are you still trying to figure out how to eat Helios flora? Oh, shoot. I was talking out loud again, wasn't I? Finder, you've got missed calls on the Tempest. Check back when you've got a minute.
Pathfinder. You've got missed calls on the Tempest. Check back when you've got a minute. Hope you got what you needed from Ven before he lost his head. Sloan and I came to an understanding. I talked to him before... Well, you know. I'm impressed. Didn't think she could be recent with. What can I say? I'm persuasive. You'd have to be to crack Sloan. So, how can I help you? Things are looking less than friendly between the Collective and the Outcasts. Not everyone's happy living under Sloane's thumb. Whatever resources Kadara has goes to the outcasts. The rest of us get scraps. The Collective claims to be different, but... It's hard to trust a faceless leader. Especially with a title like the Charlatan. <laughs> have to admit, I'm jealous. That's a better nickname than Shayna. Did you play a big part in the mutiny on the Nexus? <laughs> I had nothing to do with that shit show. Then why'd you leave? The way Tan handled things didn't exactly inspire confidence. Decided I could do better on my own. So I jumped ship with the rest of them. Ended up here. Your code name, Shayna. What's it mean? It's the Angaran word for mouth. <laughs> I'm good with words. Uh-huh. A regular poet. <laughs> I didn't choose it. How long have you worked with the Resistance? A few months. When Sloan saved Kadara Port from the Ket, Ephra wanted eyes and ears on the ground. Figured people would be more loose-lipped around their own kind. He was right. Sloan's tough. But so are the Ket. How'd she take them out? Never underestimate the element of surprise. The Ket weren't ready for an ambush. But they know her tactics now. Next time, Sloan won't be so lucky. I better get going. Ryder. Yeah? Don't take this the wrong way, but... You're not really liked here, in Kadara Port. Ouch. What I'm saying is, you need a friend. Someone on the inside to help you out. I can be that guy. You need intel on Exiles, Sloan, whatever. Come to me. Thanks. I think.
I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. We'll talk later. I know it. Bitcoin channels already, Pathfinder. Ryder, how's my favorite Pathfinder? Just enjoying another day of what Helios has to offer. Why? Thought we could grab a drink. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ. Seen a hex chat battery. The ones that leak charged element zero? Did you bring one of those onto the ship? Suvi, that woman on the Fire Nexus, she's a widow of one of my pilots. The people you were training to explore the Scourge? Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow's got enough credits. It's the least I can do. The most is conquering the Scourge once and for all. Pathfinder, I've received word there's a doctor in the slums who could use your help. I'll check it out. Yes, festivities are underway. Mr. Rodal asked you to meet him at the entrance. Hold up. This is a private event. Name's Ryder. Human Pathfinder? I'm kind of a big deal. There's no Ryder on the list. He's with me. Reyes Vidal. Go on in. Reyes Vidal. I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Remember what I said about fashionably late? Shh. Introduce me to your companion. Pathfinder? Meet Kima Dorgan. The Angaran representative to Sloan and... Uh, a friend. A pleasure, Kima. Call me Ryder. Reyes mentioned your professionalism. 
Sorry to cut this short, but I need to take care of something. Abandoning me already? It won't take long. There are important players here tonight. You should mingle, make a good impression. Don't do anything to get us kicked out, please. I won't ruin your fun. Promise. And there he goes. Any idea what he's up to? It's better not to worry about what Reyes does. Enjoy the party. Food and beer are just so hard to come by in Helios. Uh -huh. Just keep a low profile. Sloan's already gonna give me hell. Good to see you again, Pathfinder. How did you meet Reyes? The only way anyone meets Reyes Vidal, through business. His skills are very valuable in Kadara Port. What's it mean to be an Angaran representative to Sloan? Sloan relies on me to provide an Angaran perspective. Does she listen to you? Only in extreme cases. She makes a show of being pro-Angaran, but her priority is the outcasts. She throws these parties to mollify my people. It won't work forever. Are you part of the Resistance? No. Ephra and I share information, but Kadara's problems come first. If war breaks out between the Collective and the Outcasts, it will be my people who suffer. Have you seen Reyes? No, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. Nice talking to you, Kima. Likewise, Pathfinder. I'd like a drink. What's the name of my bar? What? You want a drink, answer the question. Krala's song. Hmm. Back again. Hope you're ready for round two. How do I serve whiskey? Neat. I'm almost impressed. Final question. Want to be a test subject? I've got a new drink. Angar and wine mixed with Rincol. Need to know if it's safe for humans. You in? Hit me with your best shot. You're the worst. You know that, right? Bottoms up. Still standing. Success. Pathfinder, might I suggest you slowing down? At least until Mr. Vidal returns. Shut up, Sam. It's a party. What an unexpected surprise. Nice of you to throw a party for the locals. We both know I'm not doing this to be nice. Smart, then. 
Like I said, there's no reason we can't be civilized. Enjoy the party. Reyes, where are you? No answer, but I believe he headed to one of the side rooms when we arrived, Pathfinder. Let's see what he's up to. Damn it. Why can't the serial numbers be in the same spot? Take the night off. Come out for a drink. Should have known you were up to something. Ryder, it's not what it looks like. So you didn't use me as a distraction to go through Sloane's stuff? <laughs> okay, yes. But it's for both our benefit. I You've promise. You've been making a lot of promises. Shit, someone's coming. We need a distraction. Sorry. <coughs> My friend had a bit too much to drink. Hey, it worked. Next time, I come up with the plan. Finally, here it is. That's what this was all about? Whiskey? The only bottle of Mount Milgram in Andromeda. Triple distilled and 645 years old. This isn't whiskey. It's treasure. You really need to rethink your priorities. Ha. <laughs> we'll see. Let's get out of here. Gorgeous, isn't it? I sometimes forget. Is Andromeda everything you hoped it would be? Every day is an adventure. Even my nights off are interesting. What about you? Why did you come here, Reyes? To be someone. That sounded surprisingly genuine, coming from you. I'm always genuine, Ryder. In my own way.
Sanjeev Clement. Terrible way to die. Pipes are being finicky. Wouldn't want them to bust and ruin that pretty armor. Thanks for the warning. Kadara's water contains a high concentration of sulfuric acid. It's extremely toxic. I'll let you get back to work. Stay clear of the water. You look well enough. My patients are usually leaking from somewhere. No leaking here. Just seeing all Kadara has to offer. A tourist, huh? Pathfinder, actually. One survived? Could have used you when we got to Helios. Dr. Ryota Nakamoto. I used to work as the outcast's physician. Quit after Sloan turned what should have been a medical breakthrough into a drug. I thought she was supposed to be a woman of the people. She's whatever she needs to be to stay in power. When we arrived on Kadara, I found a local string of bacteria that shares properties with penicillin. Quite the find. It was, until I discovered the drug is addictive and induces hallucinations in large doses. I took my concerns to Sloan. All she saw was an opportunity to make a profit, called the drug Oblivion. But. Beyond stealing back my formula, there's no way to stop her. So let's steal the formula. Are you crazy? It's heavily guarded. I'm a doctor, I don't know how to fight. Don't worry, we got this. The formula's in my old lab. Please don't get killed trying to fix my mistake.
Kidnap Exile Camp has a high concentration of registered criminals, Pathfinder. Here they come! does it take to guard one lab? from the inside. I'll override him. I'm unarmed. Give me the Oblivion formula, and you've got nothing to fear. Who are you? Dr. Arena Ferenth. Ryota sent you, didn't he? With a sob story about Sloane misusing his medical breakthrough. Something like that. Oblivion wasn't his breakthrough, it was ours. How do I know you're telling the truth? Because I'm not hiding behind a false shield of morality. We always meant Oblivion to be a highly addictive drug. That it has medicinal value was a coincidence. Then why did Dr. Nakamoto quit the outcasts? <laughs> Ryota didn't quit. He was fired. Pushed Sloan for a bigger cut. You've had what, one conversation with him? I've known Ryota for years. Everything he does, he does for credits. But you're different. I play survival above credits. Give Ryota the formula. And I'm as good as dead. Sloane will see to that. I've seen Sloane's outfit. Not a lot of doctors. You're too valuable to kill. She'll see it as cooperating with the enemy. Loyalty's more important to Sloane than brains.
You're lying about Dr. Nakamoto to keep the formula. You willing to bet my life on that? Yep. Fuck you. So sorry. Good news, Doctor. Got your formula. You have no idea what this means to me. One of your old co-workers, Dr. Ferenth, claimed she helped you create Oblivion. That it was always meant to be a drug. That's a lie. Arena's not even a doctor. Figured as much. You've only shown yourself to be a decent man. Thank you, Pathfinder. I won't forget this. 